I wanted to do a check-in with you guys about the video I made the other day. Um, it was the one about self-care and caring for yourself and loving yourself. And uh, I just spent a little bit of time today meditating. I've done it for four days now. Four days meditating and uh, three of those days we did yoga. We're still going to do yoga today, so um, that was a pretty good start. Four days of yoga and meditation. Uh, I just took a shower so I'm nice and clean and feeling very refreshed. Um, I just did this chakra meditation and it was really cool. And um, it was a balancing of chakras, uh, something I found on YouTube. Uh, you know, there's a lot of free videos out there and audio that you can find to help you along with meditation practices. Ideally, I would like to get to the point where I don't need a guide, but it is very helpful in the beginning, for sure. One thing I wanted to talk about from the video from other days, I don't want you to misunderstand one of the things I said. I said, uh, you know, the idea of self-love and taking care of yourself uh, was really hard for me sometimes. And uh, it's because it's like ever since I was a uh, young boy, I um, didn't know about self-love. Like, it seemed like I was kind of trained to hate myself. Um, I don't want that to come across like I didn't have a good upbringing. My parents were great and they gave me a lot of love. What I meant by that was that the words I used was the idea of self-love was something I never got, which means something I never understood. It was something I never conceptualized for myself and that's not due to uh, bad parenting or something like that. It's just something I never understood until recently. And I've heard that message all through my life and just kind of never understood like self-love, like it sounds so conceited or uh, cocky or I don't know, you know, like all these things that stop you from loving yourself, all these like little words and excuses that, um, you know, Self-love is not about um, self-love is not a conceit. Self-love is not the same thing as narcissism or uh, conceitedness or cockiness. Uh, it's a whole other divine love that you can have for yourself and all accepting of who you are. Uh, for the longest time, I didn't accept who I was, and I didn't love who I was. Until about 12 years ago, I kind of flipped the switch in the other direction and realized what was, that was all about. And started practicing the things to help you love yourself, you know? Like quieting that negative talk that you say to yourself when you do something stupid, or when you do something that maybe you took, made a poor choice, and you sit there and beat yourself up about it for hours and days and months and years um, we do that to ourselves all day every day and we don't realize what that is doing to our our soul you know um, to sit there and say to put yourself down and say oh how stupid is that and how ugly I am or there's all these things that run through your head all the, all the time, and it's hard to make them stop. Sometimes it happens without you even realizing it, and it may have been an hour where you've been talking to yourself like that. And um, the good news is, though, it only takes a small amount of positivity to overcome that negativity. When you catch yourself talking to yourself that way, as stupid as it feels, say the opposite. You know? If you feel stupid about something you did stop yourself when you're beating yourself up about it and tell yourself that you're smart that you're intelligent that you're clever and 
uh, all those things that you want to be. And you'll see over time it starts to turn in the other direction. That negative constant chatter in your brain starts to quiet and it kind of goes away. The more that you talk to yourself in a nice way, the way that you would like to be talked to by anyone, uh, it does start to quiet down and that negativity that you repeat to yourself all the time every day does start to subside. I'm getting to the point where I want to wake up with those thoughts in the forefront of my mind. The gratitude that I have for waking up that day and being alive and being on this existence uh, right now. Sometimes it's easy to get bogged down and I don't think about it for maybe several hours and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to have this positive frame of mind. (laughs) That's what I've been working on, but... It's okay, you can always catch up.